Hey guys, this is the video tutorial number three on EFI AutoCal. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to configure your AutoCal for your truck and to load and unload the tune files from the device. So first step is open EFI Scan and Tune. Plug your device into your computer now if you haven't already. Then you're going to hit check firmware. Make sure your AutoCal is up to date. If not, it will have a button here that says you know, update. Your configuration files, this should be blank down here, but I will show you how to load them. So you're going to go to the BBX tab, and you're going to see the scan tab and the tune tab. Your guys' list here will be blank, but how you, I will include the all diesel text file in this video description, and you just load it by coming to the open folder, and then you find the all diesel text file, hit open. And it should populate if it doesn't. Just hit the close button down here, reopen it, and it should populate for you guys. So the next step is to determine what ECM type your truck requires. These ones are very easily labeled LB7, LLY Duramax, LMM Duramax, LMM, LMLO Duramax, 11 to 14, 15 to 16 year. The CMB ECM is for 060759 Cummins. CMC ECM is 07 and after 09 Cummins pickup and early um, fourth gen chassis cabs. CMD is 2010 to 2012 Cummins. CME is 2013 to 2018 Cummins. And CMF is 2019 to current Cummins. Hopefully the 22s will be cracked pretty soon also. So you're going to go to the scan tab and you're going to select your ECM type of your truck. So let's just do CMF for this example, so 19 to 21 Cummins. Go to the Tune tab, do the same exact thing. Go down to the Program button, hit the small arrow. Hit Format Config File System, agree to that. Hit OK. Hit the small arrow again. And do the slower option this time. Agree to that. Okay, that's done. You can close out of this, go back, hit check firmware, and yes, the configuration files say CMF, CMF. So we're good to go to the next step. The next step would be going to EFI Explorer. You can open up the program separately, or you can just come in here and hit Explorer. So you're going to see three folders scan, tune and read. On the AutoCal V3, there will be more folders, but all we're going to pay attention to is the tune folder. So you can either copy paste files into this blank window here and they will get loaded onto the device, or you can just drag and drop them. It's your choice. So uh, I'm going to move this window over here. Okay, so I have a CMF file here, so I can just drag and drop. And it's now getting loaded onto the AutoCal. Normally, it does not take this long. <laughs> okay, now that it's on there, this is the controller type of CMF, which is correct from earlier. Um, this is the remote. Um, v2 that the tune and file is licensed to. If you try to put a file, like a PPEI file on a CTT AutoCAL, 
you'll get a warning that says, you know, this file is not for this AutoCal because your AutoCal needs to be linked to the tuning company. And uh, there's your file name. So right now this file, CMF ASIN recovery file, is on our device. Now we can unplug the device from the computer, take this out to the truck, and flash this file in there. If you want to remove the file, just highlight it, hit delete, confirm, and now the device the device is clear of the file. So, um, if you guys do any data logs, they will show up here in the scan tab or in the scan folder, and then you can save them to your desktop and send them to your tuner so he can see what's going on, going on with the truck. Um, hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Yeah, thanks.